Talking about 3D printed objects with no seam, it's all about using the spiral waste mode in your slicer. In this case, your printer is able to print only with one wall. What makes your objects not very strong as you may think, but please don't rush to do conclusions. Especially for this experiment, I've printed a few examples on my Ender 3 S1 using only 0.4mm nozzle and different line width to find the maximum possible thickness of external wall. For example, this vase was printed with 1mm wall and I was using silk PLA. As you can see it's not very strong, but very pretty. Next vase, yellow PG, same 1mm wall thickness. This one is stronger due to different plastic. As you know well, nozzle of 3D printer has a channel for extruding plastic through. It also has a platform, which is used for ironing and smoothing the extruded plastic. The bigger the platform, the wider the line to be extruded without quality issues. As you can see on this macro picture of Ender 3 nozzle, the platform is about 0.8mm. That means it's a recommended maximum line width for your everyday prints with plenty walls in fill and so on. But vase mode allows you to go wider. Next is a macro picture of Creality K1C Unicorn nozzle, which has a slightly bigger platform, around 1mm. Next example is Black Peggy Cube, which was printed with one wall 1.6mm wide, 0.32mm layer high, also pressure advance was set to 0.12. It's very important to have a pressure advance calibrated well so we get a nice corners. First layer was printed with 230 degrees and cooling fan off. Second layer 240 degrees and cooling fan on 100%. But I got equality issues due to low plastic temperature. So I started increasing hot end temperature during printing and the best temperature was found around 250 to 60 degrees. Quality issues were gone by then. Next few tests were all about printing with 2mm line width, which was the main goal of today's experiment. And that is where I met some difficulties, like too high temperature or not enough cooling or too big flow rate, oh my god. Finally I managed to print a PLA cylinder with 2mm wall and 0.36mm layer high. And the maximum volumetric speed was set to 10 cubics per second. So this cylinder was way much stronger than my previous tests, but with not ideal quality. It was small artifacts on the surface. After that I've printed the final test to make sure that my conclusions are correct before presenting them to you. So verdict is next. 0.4mm nozzle allows you to print 2mm lines with small quality artifacts. But I suggest to avoid going 4 times higher than your nozzle diameter. So for me, 1.6mm is good enough. If you want more, then replace nozzle to 0.6, 0.8 or 1mm. Nozzle platform is going to be bigger, obviously, which gives you an opportunity to print wider lines. Big thank you for watching till this moment. I hope it was useful for you. Also welcome to comment section where you can tell me if you want more tests with bigger nozzle diameters or any other experiments that you desire to see. Have a great day, everybody.